Okay, now it's time to add the rest of the details to my um, self-portrait. As you can see, I went ahead and colored this side. Um, I used a bit of crayon, sometimes marker. Um, sometimes the marker acts a little bit like a resist. So I like that it gives me so many different textures and colors when I blend the two of them. Um, the next it's telling us to take a few minutes to think of two or three things that make you unique. Um, it's part of you that you probably think about uh, your inside more than what we see on the outside. They would be like your interests or your character traits. I think you should use a marker and fill in your words um, on the spaces that you have into the side. You can put one word in each space or you can move around and alternate or leave some spaces empty. So I think um, one of the most important things that I am is I'm a mom. Um, you guys know that I have two kids. So right in this space, I'm gonna touch the top and the bottom of the line and I'm gonna sp uh, space out pretty large the word mom. So here's an M. Look at how I touch the both edges of that black line. So my O is larger than my beginning M. And now I finish with that third M. Uh, so there I go, I'm a mom. What else do you know about me? Um, you guys all probably know, or probably think you know, <laughs> um, I'm a teacher. So next I'm gonna make, again, from top to bottom, I'm gonna spell the word teacher. So there's a T, E, A, C, H, I'm making a lowercase h, e, and then an r. So there's the word teacher. And then finally, um, some of you might know, or maybe not, but I have um, sisters, so I am a sister. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in, right under the word teacher, um, I think I'm gonna fill in the word sister. I think the word sister is too big of a word to fit right there, so I need to fit it in right over that way. I think I'm gonna choose green, and I'm gonna spell out the word sister. So I need an S. I, I want to have a dot so we know that it's an, uh, an I. Sis, T, E, oh, here comes a great big E, and a mm -hmm, great big R. So I'm a sister. Huh, do I think I want to put a word right there? Maybe I do. So being an art teacher, I think that um, I'm pretty creative, so I've got to scooch that word in there. There's a lot of letters in the word creative. There's a C, R, E, A, uh oh, I hope I don't run out of room. I should have planned, right? T, I, V, I can fit it. Look at that, I got the E in there. So I put creative there. So I'm a mom, I'm creative, I'm a teacher, and I'm a sister. And then I have these empty spaces. Um, I think it would be a nice place to add some organic shapes or organic lines in there, uh, just kind of to break up the space, give something interesting for our eye to look at. So uh, organic shapes, those are shapes from nature. They might be just some loops and a couple circles and maybe another loop. Mm -hmm. uh, it also talks about outlining these spaces so that I have more um, what I call marker juice on there. So I'm gonna also do that on my purple, the word mom over here, on each side of that black line. I need to put some red on the side of this red line. So I'm on the other side of that black line this time, and I'm putting marker there. I need blue, right? I don't always do a great job staying on the camera, do I? What am I gonna put down here? I think it would be good to have the balance of that color down here as well. I might put the exact same type of shapes. So I have a couple circles and kind of a paisley or a loop. We made paisleys one year. So there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and get um, water and a brush. I'll be back. 